Hey guys, I'm Robert from the Mailroom Barber Co. So I'm sure you're like me and it, it only takes about two or three weeks for your beard to start getting out of hand and looking real rough. The lines get grown out and you start to get all this nonsense around the edges. The sides get real bushy. You start eating the corners of your mustache. It's just not fun. But you probably go to the barber once a month. So halfway in between your haircuts, you your beard just starts looking terrible again and you're like I look like a caveman I need to clean this thing up so what I'm gonna do today is walk through the three steps to getting your beard uh, to where it looks awesome all the time so that you can keep looking attractive and feeling confident even when you haven't been to the barber so uh, when you hit that two-week threshold where you really need your lines cleaned up um, you'll be able to use this video to do that um, I want to preface this by saying that you should probably leave a bulk of the trimming to your barber so I wouldn't do a ton of drastic shaping um, because that's what they're literally trained to do and uh, it's really easy to mess that part up and that's where you can have to go back down to baby face or much shorter of a beard than you wanted to so uh, let's get started we're gonna start with step one which is trim the shape So first, we, what we need to do is comb it out. So I'm using the wide side of a comb here. And I just want to make sure I'm, I'm seeing the beard at its full length. And that all of the wild hairs are sticking out. So let's talk real quick about what, uh, what actually makes a beard look good on your face. So, the reason a beard is, uh, it, the reason a beard makes your face have more of a masculine look is because it extends that jawline to make it look like you have a really prominent jaw. And that just automatically looks very masculine. Um, so what we want to do is create kind of a straight line here, create a line that matches the jaw. So we don't want to do this because that, if the shape of the beard goes down like this, it starts to look more like we have a double chin. So we want to lift that up so that the chin is longer than here. And that follows the jaw and gives that effect of lengthening the jaw. So those are the first two things we're going to do on the bottom. And then we're going to flatten in the sides because what that does is gives you this really nice straight down profile and it starts at the cheekbones here and goes straight down so it really like outlines your face well and gives you a nice silhouette. Alright so let's get started right here. So this is the easiest part to mess up but I'm gonna start right here at the chin and just come straight back. Now it's really important that my clippers, and I'm using just some wall magic clips, it's really important that my clippers are the same angle that I'm trying to cut. So if I want to come straight back like this, I wouldn't want to be holding them at an angle like that. Make sense? So I'm just going to go straight back here. And I'm starting in the middle like that so that I can just work from middle to side, middle to side, instead of working from this side and go, oops that got a little short now I gotta go real short here oops too short you kind of do this ping pong match until you have no beard so we don't want to do that so we're gonna start in the middle make this first line and then move it to the sides Cool, so now that we have this line right here established, what we're gonna do is move on to this jaw line and get the shape right here. So all I'm gonna do is just tilt my head to the side a little bit where I can see the shape of my jaw. It could help you to use a mirror, but my, my beard is close to this outline already, so I'm not gonna use a mirror to do this. And I'm just gonna come in from the side, and match the angle of my jaw.
Cool. Now I just need to do this side. If you're trimming a significant amount off your beard, a good way to find this line would be to pull your comb down and rest it on your jawbone. So that's my jaw right there. And then just pull the comb straight down. And that's where you want your line to be, right there. All right, cool. So now we've got the bottom shape established this way. We've got the jawline established that way. So now we need to come in and go straight down on the sides right here, straight down from the cheekbone. So there's a couple ways we can do this. Your barber freehands it. I don't want you to freehand it because you'll end up with a hole in the side of your cheek. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is use a two guard and your guards might be a little different. What you want to do is use a guard that's about your finger length. So there to there is the size of this guard. That's a little bit less than my finger, finger width, but that's where I want to start. So whether that's a three, four, one for you, doesn't really matter. Just make sure you have a longer guard like this. What that'll do is keep you from making fatal mistakes. So we're going to start right here, and we're just going to come straight down, but we're going to slightly roll off the side. So we'll come straight down and slightly roll off the side. All right, coming down. Now I'm just going to slightly roll off. Down and off. I'm, going to, I'm barely touching the guard to the skin, and I'm kind of using this scooping motion like that so that it's shorter here and longer here. What that'll do is it'll let it have this nice square shape. And it'll also make sure I don't just naturally, because when your arm drops, you want to drag in like this, but this keeps you from doing that if you're consciously trying to push out. Cool, and so right here at the sideburn area, I'm gonna flip and go up because I want this to start blending into the sides of my haircut. Blending into skin is, is pretty tough to do here. Um, but if your hair's growing out and you're about two weeks in between a haircut, you probably won't have to blend this low. But just get progressively shorter guards as you go up and it'll blend into the haircut. So I, I did a two going up, then I could do a one and then the shorter guard, and then down the skin. Cool. All right, so let's do the other side. So now, can you tell in the silhouette that this side's pretty flat, and then this side is pretty rounded? So that's what you want to see. You want to see this side being flat, this side kind of rounded, and that roundness is what we're trying to carve off. All right, so let's hit this side. Remember to curve out at the bottom like that so you avoid clipping off the corner of your beard. And I'm very lightly just kind of floating over the ends right here. I'm not pressing deep into the beard because I'm trying to get a motion where it comes down a little bit and then really starts to come out because I don't want to go into this and start curving with my jaw and that would just take off all of the weight right there and that's that's what's giving that elongated jaw look in the first place. Alright so now let's blend in the sideburn. Cool. So now for the front right here I'm just going to do a little bit of touch up work just coming around like this. Be Super, super careful here. This is a part I would absolutely try and leave the bulk of the work to the barber because um, you could really mess yourself up here. 
but I just want to get the loose hair. So I'm just coming around, keeping my blade vertical, and I'm just snagging these loose hairs right off the ends. Anywhere that I see in the silhouette that there's loose hair, I'm just going in and snagging it. Cool. All right, so now we move on to part two, which is lining and uh, shaving or using foils to get it all the way down to skin. Lining is the second most important important part of doing a beard trim because first you want to accentuate your features and lengthen your jaw with the shape of it, but second we want to make sure we have good clean lines that really outline the beard for us. So just like with shape, we're going to start on the bottom. And my rule for, for beard lineups is you want the line here to be about, about half a finger or a finger above the Adam's apple. And then over here, you want, this is just for average medium length beards like mine. Um, you know, if you have, if your hair is a lot, if, it, if your beard's a lot shorter than this, you might want to go um, a little higher, but my general rule of thumb is one finger below the jaw, one finger above the Adam's apple. So that's where I'm going to start my lines. So starting in the middle, so we have an even point of reference, and then moving to the sides. All right, now let's move to this side. All right, so now that I have my line established, I'm just going to go in and clean up all the fuzz underneath. Notice that when I was making the line, I pressed in and pulled down because you don't want to make a line where you're doing this because you'll end up going way too far. Cool, so now that we've got that line established across the bottom, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, we're gonna move on to the line behind the jaw. This is the one I see people mess up the most, is they'll come straight down like this, but that just destroys the shape of the beard because we want this long rectangular shape going like that. That's what gives it the elongated jaw look. Imagine you want this shape to be kind of like a meat cleaver right here. So we actually want this line to slightly curve back, like that. All right, so I'm going to reach around like this and use the front of the blade like that, and I'll press in and push away. Alright, so that's about the shape I want. See, it's leaning back a little bit. Then I'll just go in and slightly round off this back of the corner. So now we're moving on to the right side. And just like with the left side, we don't want to come in too tight like this. We want to make sure we keep this kind of curving out to the back. So I always make a rough draft line and then come back and clean it up. So there's my rough draft. I'm going to come back with this final draft. Okay, so now with this cheek line, what we need to do, the idea here is to get vertical here and then curve smoothly until you get to horizontal here. And you want this line to line up with the corner of your lip. So that just draws the eyes right to your mouth. 
and that's just the best way to accentuate the features with this line. So this is an awkward line to get for a right-handed person. Um, so there's a couple ways we could do it. I could either come in like this, I could go over like that, but then I block my line of vision. So I'm gonna stay right here. All right, so see, we've just made this nice curving line going up. And now, I'm, now I can clear all of this out. Cool. I, I think I can't stress enough that you just need to be very slow and deliberate with your lines and get the line right and then clear out, then clear out all the excess. Cool. All right, so let's do this left side. Same thing as before, vertical here, curve smoothly down to horizontal. Cool, and that's these lines. So now let's get the mustache. So I usually like to have my mustache right along the edge of my lip, just because it I, I think I'm a little OCD and it, it just really bothers me when my mustache curls into my mouth um, and I, I hate chewing on the corners of the mustache right here so what I'm going to do is comb it all straight down and then press in right at the lip line. Then I'm going to come up and around like this. And then I'm just going to clean some of these longer hairs off right there. I saw a couple of longer hairs up here that I wanted to get, so lifting the hair like that lets me get some of these longer hairs without having to worry about like just taking my mustache completely off. Cool. All right, so now we've got the lines. I'm going to take my foil shavers and I'm just going to take the lines on my cheeks all the way down to skin. So some people like to shave their lines. Some people like to take a foil under their neck. My neck is usually really sensitive and whether I use a foil or a straight shave, I usually end up with some sort of breakout or ingrown hair, which is super annoying. So I usually just leave it at clippers and I'll come back and line it up uh, every few days. So with foil, tr foil trimmers, and this, these are the wall five star shavers. Also the liner I used was the Andes Slimline Pro. Um, so with these shavers, you want to make sure you're going with the grain first and then against the grain. Going against the grain first is usually pretty uncomfortable. Cool. And there we go. So to recap, I, the main things that I was focused on here were getting the shape right here, shape right there, and then making sure I had good clean outlines, outlining my jaw and the neckline here, and then outlining these curves going to my mouth. And then we just trimmed up the mustache. So like I said, I would leave a majority of the shaping to your barber. Uh, we do extensive training with our barbers to make sure they know exactly how to trim your beard so that it fits your face really well and accentuates your features. So I would, I would make sure you get a majority of it done with them. But I hope this video helps you shape your beard at home so that in between going to the barber when your beard starts getting grown out and stuff, you can just quickly trim the lines, trim the shape a little bit, get back to feeling attractive and confident again and looking sharp. So thank you guys so much. Hope this was helpful and we'll see you next time.